Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. We're about to start working on this uh, 1998. It's a NASCAR edition, special edition situation. You can see the paint's all oxidized. The wheels are pretty dirty. Uh, we do have new center caps for it, but probably won't get put on today. The plan today is to wash, decontaminate, and remove all that oxidation, making the exterior look a lot better. We'll clean the wheels up, the tires, and that kind of thing. So we're gonna wash it, give it a clay bar. I'm probably gonna use my stripper soap from detailjuice.com to just get it all clean and, and strip down any, any well, obviously there's no wax or sealant on it, but anything that's on there, stripper soap's gonna clean it off. We're gonna clay bar to remove any contaminants. Uh, and then we're gonna polish with the Buff and Shine Eurocell orange pad with the Harbor Freight DA, obviously, and uh, my Evo all-in-one. Actually, I may use the new unreleased Grip Launch all-in-one. I don't know, we're gonna do some testing and see. But that's the plan. You can see how oxidized and gross the hood is. Headlights look pretty bad, but all of them from this era do. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get prepped and ready and get this thing knocked out. So uh, I'll bring you back when we've got more work done. All right, we're right in the middle of polishing. You'll notice. Yeah, sorry, I have my shirt off. I know that's horrible uh, for you guys to see. But I did a... 50-50 shot here on the hood. The hood's all oxidized really bad and the clear coat is literally failing. However, you can dramatically see the difference in the before and after. So with this truck, he's trying to sell it. So we're trying to just get as much gloss back out of this thing as possible. I was able to clean these front wheels really well. They definitely could use a hand polish. This is a prep for sale. I'm not going to put a lot of effort in it. I just want to, you know, bring the shine back to the paint a little bit and uh, make it generally look pretty clean. But I cleaned those wheels with tiger's blood, uh, diluted one part tiger's blood to two parts water. So in a 16 ounce bottle, I put around eh, five-ish ounces in there and then filled it with water. But these things were crazy caked with brake dust in here and these areas you can see inside here it was all inside every crack and crevice in these wheels especially the front one so what i did was went and got pulled out the duplicolor wax and or grease and wax remover and this stuff removed that brake dust easily it literally was like an eraser it was so easy. I uh, scrubbed it just a little bit with a finger inside a microfiber towel, woo! Uh, and uh, it, it came out really nice. Can I do more with them? Yes. Uh, would they benefit from a hand polish? Absolutely. Uh, will I be doing that on this job? No. Those are the answers to your questions I'm sure you're asking yourself right now. But you can see we've done the fender and hat, and, well, and a little section of the door, and uh, Looks really good. Lots of gloss here versus right there. Uh, I have also done half of the bed, or I'm sorry, the tailgate. You can see that side's all glossy and then you've got all this haze over here. I'm using the Harbor Freight DA as usual. I'm also using the Buff and Shine Eurocell uh, five inch pad and the brand new Grip Launch all-in-one. I'm not even bothering with Evo all-in-one. The Grip Launch all-in-one leaves a very nice slick finish that uh, is protecting the paint. Uh, it's got several different polymers in it that uh, are leaving behind solid protection. But the polish just works so well. Get this puppy done, you can see how oxidized it is. All right, enough yapping, back to work. All right, guys, she's all done. As I mentioned before, the hood is extremely oxidized and we have some uh, clear coat failure for sure. Polish the headlights, they look a lot better. You'll be able to see better at night or whoever buys it, because you know, it is for sale. I also cleaned the wheels really well. I showed you with that wax and grease remover. That stuff worked amazing and 
if you don't want to use an acid and you can wear rubber gloves and you don't want to worry about having to wear a respirator or whatever i would re definitely recommend that uh, duplicolor grease and wax remover that i showed you i used diluted transform dressing 50 50 with water on the tires they look amazing the wheels like i said i cleaned them with tiger's blood and the duplicolor wax and grease remover and then i added these chrome lug nut covers and they look amazing i love the chrome on the black wheels I, it's personal preference the truck came with black covers three of them were missing so i ordered the chrome ones for them and they look stellar also notice the truck has a lot of gloss now that it didn't have before uh, this was the uh, currently unreleased grip launch all-in-one that we used on this whole truck very impressed with that product and we used it uh, out in uh, the direct sun which is not recommended however it worked fine uh, whether it will work in your environment who knows we can see there's still a lot of oxidation left could i get it to look better yes but you got to remember when you're doing a prep for sale that you need to the the money that the customer spends needs to be justified as far as how does the effort and the money they put into it um how does that i guess work with the asking price or the selling price so you got to ensure that the customer is not only going to be able to present the vehicle in a better way so that it's more attractive to potential buyers but also that they could re recoup all or most of the the detail money uh when they're selling it so that's kind of where we're at it's got a couple dents and dings uh, i did hand polish uh, these exhaust tips uh, they are clean and smooth however they're pretty scratched up over the years of rubbing on them but uh overall i'm very pleased with how it turned out it's far more attractive than it was to a potential buyer i uh, didn't do anything with the roof at all like literally i mean we washed it but that is it so uh as far as the roof goes it needs to be painted the hood really needs a paint job in fact the whole truck could use a good paint job however the new owner can deal with that so anyway this is a 1998 nascar i don't know if it's a 50th anniversary i'll have to look into it uh i'll have all of the uh real specs in the in the title of the video didn't do anything with the interior it's already in good shape i did remove a lot of the gunk and the broken piece of the uh, the vent shield thing that go that went there I got a lot of that residue off so that maybe he'll replace them for the new owner i'm not sure but this one is here and intact so should be good to go anyway check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i've got going on um you'll find lots of good information in there uh for you know my products my processes and well what i've got going on what i'd already mentioned to you uh if i can help you in your detailing endeavors 813-846-4406 i can't help if you don't use the phone number and uh, i'm more than willing to give you guys uh whatever effort i can to help you uh further your either enthusiast detailing career or your professional business uh career uh whatever i could do to help just let me know again thank you so much for watching and uh, be on the lookout for that grip launch all in one it's good stuff um transform dressing i did wipe the entire truck down with forever rinseless diluted as a basically a detail spray if you will at the four ounces to one gallon and then i distribute that one gallon mixture into 16 ounce spray bottles so i wiped it down with forever rinseless diluted like that so anyway thanks again for watching guys have an amazing day